the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, Star Trek Fleet Command fans. Number one, want to apologize for missing stream last night. Apparently, AT&T cut Comcast's line, so I had no internet for 16 hours, so I wasn't able to stream Baldur's Gate 3 and Star Trek Fleet Command over on our Twitch channel. Now, if you haven't checked it out, it is uh, twitch.tv forward slash revduce. Apologize for missing that. Maybe we'll try to make it up. Uh, here soon but today i want to talk about some communication from the overlords about what's happening over the next few days over the course of this week and to kind of catch you up on some of the things that maybe you have missed a little bit of a news break if you will for star trek fleet command number one hit your claims chest they have finished paying out a lot of the free gifts and a lot of the issues that we've been having with like uh, various events and stuff you're going to notice multiple gifts so one thing i want you to notice is this one right here they've now done this two days in a row the Zindi Chaser Coins. Now, if you're not familiar with what this is, this is generally a paid only feature. I'll show you how to use that in just a second. You also should notice another free gift today, which are a handful of Jonathan Archer shards, as well as an event running where they have turned on the heroic SMS for Jonathan Archer. That has all been activated today. We're gonna take a look at some uh, announcements here in a second. But number one, I wanna show you how to use that currency that they are giving out. You go to your recruit tab, and then it's going to give you an opportunity to cash in for a specific token. Now, I'll go ahead and be honest with you because I said this on the live stream. I am not a fan of these style of packs as in spending actual money. But if they give it to you for free, they give it to you for free. The big thing is the odds. So, like, if you were to spend $20 to get five tokens, you've got a 0.5% chance of getting a tier five token. Which is what everybody would want because that's the full unlock of Archer and stuff like that. You have to get at least a tier three token to be profitable as in you got more than a $20 value so you basically got a 97% chance of not getting great value so I'm not a fan of them as a pack and I'll just openly say that I will not encourage anybody to go out and spend their money on Sergeant Fleet Command on that $20 pack but if you're getting it for free go ahead and roll the die see what you get and uh, I'm gonna get with this one a tier one medal which is like an officer shard Yay, a rare officer shard. Or I might actually get two officer shards that are rares at that one. So look, I'm pretty sure it's one epic and two rares. So yay. That's, again, that's just your typical RNG. Then you would go into the event store to claim it. So you go right over here and you would come and say, hey, what do I want to get with this? And, oh, I'm sorry, I don't even get an officer shard because it's a tier one. So I guess for me, I'm going to do Syndicate XP. 750, good lord. Literally none of this is good. Sing it XP it is. Okay, there's my tier one token. <laughs> Okie dokie, there's my tier one token. So, let's talk about some of the news and announcements from the Overlords. We posted this in my Discord. So, of course, if you haven't joined my Discord, encourage you to. But this is coming out news for several different topics. We got incursions, updates to the Xborg, credit compensation, and the Recruit Archer event. So, number one, we just finished reimbursing all affected players, only affected players, export credits for the NX-01 repairs favor. If you've unlocked the favor prior to the change, you should see the credits as claimable in a free chest. So, that is now taken care of. Recruiting Archer. We like to give you an update reward, uh, regarding the missing Recruit Archer event for the last weekend. The event was replaced by Incursions Prep, leaving many of our commanders a few shards short of unlocking archer one of the reasons they just gave you five freebies by the way is many people were two to five away however we are among those commanders still missing a few shards we glad to know there'll be up to 115 in the following events and gifts it's the heroic sms which is currently running syndicate event upcoming armada event and an engagement event we'll also be giving out a gift of five shards so as you just saw these are how you can go about getting them if you want to couple of updates here for infinite incursions the pairings that y'all saw in the xslb are not who you're going to be likely paired with in incursions so let's take a look at these first off those who are on a bi month we got to stop calling them bi weeks scopely bi month 94 202 700 701 72 73 74 75 400 401 402 those are various us and eu servers there are no apac servers that are on a bi month here are the matchups <clears throat> 8 verse 11 9 verse 12 10 verse 29, 13 verse 36. I'm going to speak them out for those who maybe can't see it on the screen because it's a little bit small. 
Uh, 14 verse 40, 13 verse 36, 15 verse 20. That's me for Sir 15. If you're in Sir 15, comment down below about how much you're going to lose. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. Uh, probably not, but still, comment down below. I'm excited. Uh, 20 verse 15, 16 verse 17, 21 verse 27, 22 verse 28, 24 verse 38, 26 verse 34, 30 verse 33, 31 verse 32, 35 verse 41, 37 verse 53, 42 verse 43, 44 verse 45, 49 verse 51, 54 verse 61, 55 verse 70, 56 verse 57, 63 verse 67, 69 verse 72, 74 verse 76, 78 verse 84, 88, I'm sorry, 80 verse 86, 88 verse 91, 89 verse 93, 90 verse 92, 95 verse 98, 96 going against my server 97, server 97, please be more war happy. Uh, 99 verse 100 and 101 verse 102. Now here are the EU matchups. 104 verse 106, 105 verse 107, 108 verse 110, 109 verse 114, 112 verse 115, 118 verse 121, 125 verse, gosh, I feel like an auctioneer right now like crazy. Uh, 125 verse 126, 130 verse 140, 131 verse 139, 132 verse 136, 133 verse 138, 134 verse 143, 135 verse 156, 137 verse 145, 142 verse 150. Two, wait, what? 142 verse 152, correct. 146 verse 153, 155 verse 157, 158 verse 159, 162 verse 164, 163 verse 184, 167 verse 168, 172 verse 181, 176 verse 178, and finally, last but certainly not least, our APAC servers. 187 verse 199 and 188 verse 193. Finally, 195 verse 201. One other announcement I do want to cover uh, one of our moderators and volunteers, we talk about our amazing volunteers that we have in the Star Trek Fleet Command community, like uh, Blue and um, Jules and a lot of the others that you've gotten to recognize. Maybe y'all are not as familiar with Silvis. One thing that we are also doing right now is running a document. We're trying to determine how military supremacy plays out at every level, every ops level, because some people get the military supremacy event. Some people do not. Uh, so we currently have this in the Discord. Again, join the Discord. It is completely free. doesn't cost you anything. If you would like comment down below i can throw this on the facebook page if y'all would really want to but join the discord links down below is discord.gg forward slash revduce uh, if you want to help contribute to this we're simply tracking whether you get it or not and what different things that you've unlocked so that we can try to nail down the particulars because it has changed over the years so if you'd like to contribute to that greatly greatly appreciate it so number one thank you to scopely for actually communicating some of this stuff pretty early um not sure if y'all also saw, but they did post a basic event run for the interim event schedule. So these are basic events. We got Crucible of War, somehow lasting four days. I don't know how that's going to work. Then Return of the Mega Cube, and then Voyager events going into next week. Also, incursions as we have just seen. So you're going to have that. And this is set in my Discord to local time. So if you're wondering, March 1st, 2024, 10 a.m., if you go in my Discord, it actually shows the time local to you. So we have it set that way you actually know what's going to happen. One day before event reset, though, on March 1st, which is this upcoming Friday, which is what we expected. They did not tell whether it was a 24-hour or like a 16-hour incursion, so that one I don't know. But I will try to find out and post that information if I get it. Hopefully this information was helpful to help y'all plan out y'all's week and start your fleet command. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with our space cowboys. Deuce, that's me. I appreciate every single one of you. And we'll catch you on the next video, which will be every day, assuming Comcast doesn't die. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.